batch of students. Ms. Vaughn and I were talking uh, a long, long time ago about how um, I, you know, I, I'm kind of jealous of her program in a way that everything, almost everything they do is very individual based. Right? Where it is in band, what we do, it's 99% it's ensemble, it's 99% group. So I, you know, trying to figure out a way for our students to get that individual experience. So me and Mr. Sams and Mr. Gessner, our choir teacher, were talking, and we decided that all of our music students would do uh, an individual performance evaluation, and again, allowing them to pick their own music and do it for, uh, for an evaluator. And it, and it went really, really, really well. And we asked those evaluators to give us two recommendations of, of performances that they heard that they felt like stood out to them. So of those, of those evaluations, um, the, the, the two that stood out from each, uh, from each judge were allowed to audition for a spot on our spring concert. And uh, both band and choir students auditioned. Uh, myself, and Mr. Sims, and Mr. Gester, we evaluated those auditions. And for our band concert, the winning uh, performance was a duet from Abby Davies and Travis Wynn. Uh, Abby Davies playing flute, Travis Wynn playing bassoon, and the, uh, the prize, if you will, or the, or the award for that was to be featured on our spring concert. So, without further ado, I would like to welcome Ms. Abby Davies and Mr. Travis Wynn. Thank you. 
So that was, uh, that was movements three, four, and five of Candide's Suite. Uh, Candide is a operetta written by Bernstein. Uh, the suite is arranged by Grunman. Uh, it's, it's sort of five movements. We chose to play the last three this evening. Uh, that was one of, our, uh, one of our pieces that we played for MPA uh, back in March here, along with Shine by Julie Giroux. We also played that in, uh, in Chicago. And, and I got to brag on the students for, for just a moment. Um, you know, not only did they did they receive straight superior ratings at MPA, but uh, up in Chicago, high scoring band and just just tons of awards and accolades. And, but not only that, the, the the feedback that we got, we had a clinic following that performance, and the feedback that we got from the judges was really really encouraging. And uh, and it's all because it's all because of how hard these students work to make. Uh, to play really, really good music, really, really well. So it's been it's been really fun. Um, this next piece uh, is a march. It's not going to sound like a march, but it is in fact a march according to the composer. Completely different uh, than what you just heard, especially uh, juxtaposed against uh, the beautiful uh, "Make Our Garden Grow." And uh, the the composer, if you've read the uh, if you've read the program notes, the composer set out to make this march. His word was nasty and mean. It, it is a, a, an homage, if you will, to uh, Xerxes, uh, the, the king of Persia, back way, way a long time ago. And, uh, and this has been fun because it's been kind of a departure from what we're used to. So uh, we hope you enjoy it. This is Xerxes.
last piece of the evening, I want to tell you just a little bit about it. Um, that, it's actually a piece that um, we played uh, three years ago when our seniors were freshmen. We actually played this at, uh, at ABA uh, back in whatever year that was. Um, like I said, when our, when our, when our seniors were, were freshmen and decided to bring it back. Number one, just because it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece uh, by Rosanna Gallant. And um, just it, it just gives us a chance to really really play something uh, something really really pretty. And uh, and speaking of the speaking of the seniors, uh, I do want to thank them for all their hard work and uh, and their leadership both in uh, in our wind ensemble and our concert band. Speaking of speaking of the concert band, just can we give them another round of applause, please. Again, thank you for being here. This is our last piece of the evening. This is Afterlife. 